Hey gang, it's Brian McLeod. Listen, I want to show you something really cool that I just bought from Jason Fladlin. Jason, I don't know when he put this out uh, before or if he's put this out before, but I just became aware of it. I grabbed the copy for 67 bucks. I've been waiting for somebody to solve this problem for me. It's all about being able to do single signups with GoToWebinar and your autoresponder service, whichever ones you use. Um, but more than that, it's about keeping it all integrated within a WordPress install. So it's really simple <clears throat> and all together within one WordPress install. I, I do a lot of stuff inside WordPress. So to be, to be able to keep it all in there, create the pages and everything I'm going to show you in just a second. I'm going to fire up Jason's uh, video here. Um, it's kind of silly for me to play it on the, the web, but let's try it. Hi, Jason Fladlin here from WPWebinarPro.com. I'm going to show you how easy it is to simultaneously sign somebody up to a webinar and add them to your email list and do a whole bunch more cool stuff. As you see right now, I'm in WordPress, and this will work on any WordPress theme or any installation you've already installed. Once you've installed the WP Webinar Pro plugin, just click Add New to a Page. So we're going to create a new page. Now, the way this plugin works here is we can enter the title of the page, and now the next thing we're going to want to do down here, you see WP Webinar Pro. Use WP Webinar Pro. So we're going to check that. Now that we check that, we can select between any of these templates, or you can actually create your own. For now, we'll just select this template right here. And the only other thing we really have to do is you see this button up here called WP Webinar Pro Setup. We're going to click on that. Now that we've clicked on that, this has popped up. Configure Webinar Settings. So we're going to select the date of the webinar. We're going to select the start time. We're going to select the end time. We're going to put in our time zone. Image URL if we wanted to put an image of the host. Webinar URL, we're just going to go over to the webinar we set up and go to webinar. In this case, you see WP Webinar Pro Demonstration. We're going to copy this URL, and we're going to paste it right in here. Now, the next thing it'll say here is title. So we'll just give this a title, WP Webinar Pro Example. And under description, what we can do here is write up a description for this webinar. I'm just going to paste something in here for now that just says, on this live webinar, training you'll discover, dot, dot, dot. You know, some good copy. Confirmation URL. Okay, if you leave this blank, it will automatically create one for you. In this case, I'm going to use a confirmation page that I've already created, so I'm just going to put that URL in there. And I'm going to select AWeber for my list, although you can select Get Response or Imnica Mail. And then I'm going to put the list email address in AWeber that I want to add each person to who signs up to my webinar. Now I'm just going to click Insert. And you can see it's generated this code automatically for you. That's fine. All we got to do is hit Publish now. And now this page is published. We'll be able to view it online. So let's go to View the Page. And you will see here, WP Webinar Pro example. It's got the webinar registration already created, the time and date automatically inserted. It's got this fancy stuff over here. And what happens if we actually sign up for this webinar? So I'll put in my first name, I'll put in my last name, and I'll put in my email address, and I'll click Register Now. The first thing you'll notice is it's an automatic redirect. Unlike in GoToWebinar, it's a 10 second redirect. Since we control it now on WordPress, uh, we can make this automatic redirect happen. And all we have to do is put the URL in of the page that we wanted to redirect to. In this case, it's a text notification sign up list, but you can make it anything you want. So that part of it works. But does the rest work? Well, I signed up at hose317 at hotmail.com, an old email address of mine. Let's see what happens when I log in and look at my inbox. And in my inbox, you will see we have two emails, one from Jason Fladlin, confirmation, WP Webinar Pro demonstration. And in this case, this is your trusty good old go-to webinar giving you the information on when to join. But the other email that you see here is confirm your subscription. You are getting this email because you signed up to attend a webinar. Confirm this to receive further communications about this webinar and future webinars. So I'm double opting them into my list. So if they click on AWeber here, we're going to take them back again, in this case, to the same page Would you like to receive text notifications. But of course, you can choose wherever you want to take them after they confirm their opt-in. But that's all you have to do. You just simply select Use WP Webinar Pro, select the template, click this button up here and fill out a few forms, click Update, and now you have your URL where you can send people to to sign up for your webinar. Now what's really cool is you can test these out. For example, the page right now is this template, but if I just select another template like this one instead and click Update, and now we view the page, you can see here, same stuff, right? I just changed the template. So this is a new template here. And all I had to do to change this template was click a button. So I say, well, maybe this is the template I don't want to use for this webinar. Maybe I want to use a different template. So all I got to do is maybe select this one instead and click Update. And now if we go back to this page and refresh it, 
you will see we have a new template. So you can create your own and, and they will add, be added here or you can just use the ones that we have. Either way, this is the easiest way, fastest way, simplest and most reliable way possible to simultaneously get somebody to sign up for your webinar and opt them into your email list and can control the redirect so they're instantly redirected to whatever page you want to redirect them to. So if this sounds good to you, go ahead and sign up right now and you'll be instantly taken to the members area where you can download and use this on an unlimited number of sites today. Okay, so there you have it. Now, this is a weird way to pike this thing, but it's really a super cool plug-in that if any of you are doing webinars or thinking about doing webinars, you really ought to grab this and save yourself a couple bucks. Jason's doing it for 67 instead of 97 uh, until the 17th. So to get it, you simply go to brianmcleodmarketing.com slash get slash WP Webinar Pro. Of course, you can go there and just get it yourself straight from webinar, WPWebinarPro.com if you don't want me to make any money on referring this to you. But in a shameless Pike and affiliate link uh, disclosure, clearly, if you like it and you want to get it, share some love, man. It's all good. Jason makes great stuff. He's a super cool guy. I had an awesome time hanging out with him in Raleigh, and I highly recommend his stuff. I bought it. So there you have it.